Hey, welcome back. So we're gonna do a quick video on pulling the pin code for a Hyundai Sonata. It's in April of 2023. So we have that year range option. We're gonna be using uh, the Smart Pro and the Smart Aerial. There's three different options for pulling that. We wanna use the machines instead of the dealer or NASTA. So let's go and click through here. We're gonna connect with Wi-Fi. So Sonata, and we have 20 through, or sorry, 19 through 23 prox. And we have all these options. Let's. So when we're looking at here, we have pin code. And this is something we want to look at. And I did another video where it worked. So it's off. Look on here. This is going to pull from the vehicle. Cool. And if we go back. Oh, sorry. And click on this one. Disconnect. And connect again. It's off. It pulls from like the vehicle, I guess, or the Smart Pro. And if we look on the second one, it will say from pin code, so we need the smart aerial. And let's look at the third one from the vehicle. So we have three different options to pull the pin. So it says tester, this is the tester, NASA dealer. But let's go ahead and see. So it says smart aerial plus required, which we have. But well, let's go ahead and see. So let's try the first. Actually, the top one, 1164, is going to pull from the vehicle. Do that one last. Let's try with the smart aerial. Hooked with Wi Fi, continue. Let's see what we can do. We have a working key. Yes, internet. So I'm going to put the working key on there, nice and balanced. And let's hit OK. Detected. OK, it's just resting there. Yes, it's a smart key. So I need to snoop the data. So I'm going to take the battery out. And let's do that. So I have the battery out, put everything there, but let's go ahead and hit okay. And let's see if we can do this. There's no other working keys in the vehicle. Okay, so I'm going to basically wait for it to flash. I'm gonna hold it up like this, lights. bit closer so it's lighting up so it's flashing good turn off and I do this a couple times it's flashing green cool I think that'll be good let's go ahead and bring it back rest it there Okay, and leave it there. Weird. Connected to the internet, good. Success. Okay, cool. There's the pin code. So we got that. Okay, cool. So we're good on that. Let's go ahead and turn the vehicle off. And out of curiosity, let's see what that is. I'm going to turn the vehicle on. Cool, it's on, it works. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Let's try once again with the other option. So we're trying. This is going through, I guess, the vehicle option. We are plugged into the OBD.
Okay, yep, we're still connected to the internet. Not even using the smart aerial for anything. Okay, here we go, getting closer. doing a lot of thinking. Okay, you, you're looking for it. Let's go. Cool, so it didn't get the pin code that way. Let's make sure the vehicle can turn on and off. Mm. Failed. Okay, so we're back. Didn't have to do a terminal reset. Basically gave it 10 seconds and it came back together. So disconnect, let's look. So uh, 1232 was smart aerial, pulled the pin, great. 1233 failed. Let's try 1164. Again, we're on Wi-Fi. Did a 21, the same procedure yesterday. Off. And let's see if we can pull a pin this way. Cool, let it read its data. much faster than the other option. So interesting. And again, we're still in the connection with Wi-Fi. Let's see, failed. So it failed both ways, very interesting. So again, obviously the pin code is held on the key, not on the vehicle. It's just old software from my understanding of how these Hyundais work and with the Smart Pro. So Smart Aerial, save the day, which is good. Cool. So I guess check out the links below and you'll see the Smart Pro working, Smart Aerial not working. It just depends on having more tools to be successful. Other than that, have a great day and I will see you next time. See ya.